Hello there, and welcome to Until I Die. If you don't know what Until I Die is, it's basically a series where I play a game until I die. This time it is The Forbidden Arts, a game currently in early access on Steam. I think it's £7.19 or something. Um, it's basically a 3D platformer of sorts, so let's go! At least I think so, 3D platformer action game. Fun times. Okay, I sort of had to skip the intro, because basically what happened, for context, uh, it, it's one of those games that doesn't allow a windowed mode, and as a result, what basically happened is as soon as it went into the cut, you, you can, like, you can shrink, uh, any game by holding Alt and pressing Enter, and as soon as the cut, I did that for the main menu, got it working, recording fine, as soon as it went to the cutscene, went full screen, and was like, okay, gonna, gonna have to cut that out and realign it and all that jazz, so yeah, we're back. Good afternoon, Phoenix. Dozing off again, and in the middle of the day at that. Feeling hot, you say? For wearing a suit of plate mail in this scorching heat, and then talk to me about burning up. All you need is a nice cold glass of whiskey. You'll feel better in no time. Since the shop is closed this afternoon, I go visit Elia, the old druid who lives down by the river. She's probably out lending, attending to her flowers right about now. I'm sure she'll have something that can help you deal with the heat. Be careful in the woods, not just the bears and wolves you have to worry about. Though I doubt the beasts will prove much trouble for a pair of daggers like yours. <laughs> Alright then, okay, so it's actually 2D. I've seen 3D images as well, but it might be a mix of both. But interesting so far. Let's a go. I'm looking forward to the. Okay! Literally, we take five steps into the game world, and it's like, hey, guess what? Get back into full screen. One to the other world. Here's here's that 3D we mentioned. Here it is. It does exist. I got gold. Sweet. All right then. Here we go. Not too bad, eh? We could, we could go to the woods. Okay, so so the 3D element is more the overworld itself, I guess. Uh, leading to each look. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic! That's what early access is all about. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's totally broken. I figured it would only be that way if I... As, as long as I was moving. No, no, it is totally broken regardless of what I do. Fantastic! Oh, yes, that is satisfying. Cannot proceed the black frame past that this time. Alright then. Well, let's go into the first proper level of the game, I guess. Which is the, the Forest of Destiny. Load it. Let's go into the level. Can't wait for full screen to pop back up. Three, two, one. Oh, look, full screen! Let me readjust the camera. You're making me do a lot of editing work. An awful lot of editing. Here we go. Let's do this. Yeah! And it begins. Wolf! I've killed Wolf. He was my favorite gladiator. What a shame. Oh! Oh, you can double jump. I don't know why I didn't think to try that, but I genuinely didn't. So that's cool. Can you wall jump indefinitely? Or is it just one wall jump? It's just one wall jump. Okay. Good to know. But you can do quite a lot of it. So that's neat. Oh. I got... I, I got stabbed by some wall spikes. That's what happened there. I certainly did. Gotta be careful about the wall spikes. I, I realised I took 50 damage from that. So... This, this may not be a massively long until I die at this rate. But to be fair, either way, I will play a certain amount because they have provided me a copy of this game and I will show off a, a fair amount of this game. The, the thing is, this game definitely has potential, but it's in early access at a state that is just not... Ooh. We got gold. Oh, the, oh so there's 10 in this level. That's pretty neat. We got gold, but the gold. I I don't know why that music. I could not tell you what killed me, but I died. Also, game shrink again. What? What actually killed me? I... 
I don't know. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. It could have been absolutely anything. But, so, I've technically already game over in terms of until I die. I will keep going for a bit longer though, because that's unfair. It's unfair to the game. But, genuinely, I have no idea what killed me. It's pretty good though. <laughs> I'm having fun, what can I say? I Genuinely, there's something about this game I really like. There's also... A couple of noises here and there, but it's pretty great. I'm, I'm having fun, I'm having a good time. Hello dear, my name is Elia. Isn't my garden beautiful? I've been at it all week now. The sun's out and my flowers are blooming. Couldn't ask for a more perfect day? God Badrick sent you my way, did he? A few years back when the Dark Elves attacked our village, God Badrick led myself and a dozen others to save passage out of town. It was a day I'll never forget. A good man he is, always looking out for others. What brings you, uh, well, what brings you here to me then? How can I help you? Hmm, could it be? Your eyes flicker like sparks of fire. And it's been a long time since I've met one who could channel a flame. As people are born these days with magic running through their veins. The flame is the magical essence within someone but allows them to manipulate fire and control the element. I suspect you have this power. But in order for you to use it, you will need my, uh, it will need your help gathering something. I can create a tonic for you that will allow you to channel the flame. But I'm missing an ingredient. If you can collect a griffin feather, I can create an oil from its stem, which can be used as, as an extracting agent. There were some guards up ahead trying to deal with a griffin. I talk to them and see if they can help you out. Don't me once you have the feather. Okay. Can do. You can do it too with can do. Oh, hello. Wolf, wolf, wolf. I wasn't here. Guards! But, but I want to see what the ladder's all about. I mean, there's a ladder. I've got to check out the ladder, right? Oh my god, bear! Big bear, big bear, big bear, ow. Big bear, big bear, big bear, big bear. Dagger time! It helped with the bear. What was the point of going to the left? There didn't seem to be anything at all. The bear! Good. Uh, yeah, what was the point of going up there? Yeah, uh, there's, that's the screen again. It's, it's, it, but it's gone. But the screen is gone again, he says. All right then, let's try this again. Let, let's try not die. I think, oh, hello. Uh, I see. Uh, <laughs> I think I know what was killing me when I fell down. The keyword being think. Um, if I was to take a guess, I think it would be the, um, when you're, okay, so in, like, any other game that has a wall jump, if you do something like that, you're fine, right? But I think it, like, it, if you were to jump from a surface and then, like, cling onto the wall, it still, uh, like, carries your height, it doesn't reset it, so, yeah, uh, you need to make sure you, you... You don't borg onto the wall. Uh, do you get borg? Because cling on anyway. Right. Also lag, tiny. Whoa. Oh, I got health back. Also, seriously, so much lag now. There was no lag before. Mm -hmm. Hail adventurer. There was a deadly griffin stalking the path up ahead. She's marked her territory, but we managed to block off both sides of the path until we can figure out a way to clear her out. So you're in need of a feather as it is. Then perhaps you would be willing to help us with our griffin problem. Seems you're just the right size for the job. As strong as our steel is, it's no match for the speed of the beast. What we need is someone who is small and silent but can strike her unseen. Think you can do that? Grivens don't put up much of a fight when struck off guard. Wait until you're out of her line of sight, then sneak in for the attack. Good luck, kid. Alright then. Yeah, let's take down a grip. Oh. I see, I found the griffin. Yeah, yeah. But I, but I, but I, but I snuck up on it. Good to see you awake, 
griffin shriek knocked you out cold. Luckily the guards dragged you out before it was too late. I took the griffin feather you plucked from the beast during your attack. Must have been what made her go crazy. If someone started pulling out my hair, I'm sure I'd be pretty angry too. Nonetheless, uh, where were we? Oh yes, the tonic! Here you are. It's going to be a little while before the effects set in, so take a moment off and relax. I've got a story to tell you if you're interested to hear it. Will it be a cutscene that changes the, the game size? It most certainly will be! Renaissance magic is known as the Seven Forbidden Arts. Pyromancy. Nice. Hydromancy. Geomancy. This could be cool. I look forward to seeing what it can do. <laughs> that is actually kind of awesome looking. Enchantment. Chiromancy. Cool. And necromancy. This all looks genuinely quite awesome. Like the thing, this game has a lot of really interesting ideas. It's just they're not perfected yet. I need to fix out the bugs and stuff like that, but it's alright for the most part. Leaders rose to power and quickly assembled armies of followers. Magic became religion, and factions lived and died by their code of magic. An evil necromancer by the name of Voltaire spent his days practicing the art of black magic. Voltaire envisioned a world where death was only the beginning, and life was merely a step towards immortality. Such an imbalance of existence was troubling to the other factions. To protect the balance of life, an alliance was formed, known as the Council of Magic. The Council swore an oath to preserve balance in the world by means of the Forbidden Arts, and by combining forces they drove Voltaire far away from these lands. To this day, no one knows what became of Voltaire, but the threat has been long since forgotten. Or has it? I bet it hasn't. By the way, if you need a voice actor for Voltaire, I'm more than willing to audition. Uh, right. Cool, let's, let's, let's continue on. I want to see if I can use fire. Greetings. Voltaire was forced out of these lands long ago by the Council of Magic, and no one knows what became of him or his followers. Many suspect he's been up to something. But let's talk for another day. By now, you, sh you should feel a strong surge of energy throughout your body. The tonic I gave you will allow you to channel the flame. First, you should learn how to shoot a fireball. Okay, let's see. Shoot fireball with Y. Cool. Hadouken! Nice, that was pretty good. Great job! The flame um, is... And then suddenly sound effects. The, the flame is drained from your body every time you use an ability. If the flame runs out, you cannot ch channel any more fire and, until until the flame has been restored. There are two untils, you might want to fix that. You can siphon fire from nearby sources in the environment to restore the flame. Try siphoning the fire from the campsite before- Oh, that's kind of a neat idea. I like the- yeah! Noise, it's pretty good. Great, you've got the hang of things by now, I think you're all set. Okay, this is cool. Goodbye. Goodbye. So I've got fire, I can kill a griffin, I've got fire, and a griffin, and the fire, and the anguish, and the death, and the never ending... The... Here. Griffin is angry, griffin is gone. Griffin tamer! I am the griffin tamer man who did the thing with the griffin, how do you get past the griffin, how do you do it? Thank you for releasing me. Thank you for your help with the griffin. Take this feather as a token of our gratitude. I think you might find it useful. It will give you the aquamancy or something. Yeah, birth of a phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh? Oh, and how was it obvious that you were a foe? You're super dead now, though. Why would I know? Okay, well, I died. <laughs> I am determined to finish this level. Do I have to kill Griffin again? I don't know. I don't know where I am, to be honest. Need to reset the screen, though. It's pretty good. Oh, oh. Oh. 
I have a feeling this level might be a lot longer than than I think it's gonna be. But I I'm enjoying what I'm playing, but I've also technically lost the until I die challenge. So yay, I guess. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'll play it again when it's more polished and I've got more health and various things like that. Um, but genuinely, I actually had fun with that. It just, it definitely needs a little bit more polish. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and if you're interested in picking up the game, you can head to Steam, support it on Early Access, tell them what went wrong, what went right. They can fix the bugs and change gameplay and whatnot to see like to fit what we all need, but uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.